So this is a um, question on circle term. Remember the term I gave now. That is the angle which an arc of a circle sustains at the center is twice the angle which the same arc sustains at the circumference. So for now we'll be doing theorem one. So it's only that theorem that I gave we'll be solving for now before I will add other theorems. So you need to shine your eye so that if you see any diagram, you see the theorem straight. Now look at this first question here. As in looking at it, if you are not familiar with the theorem, you will not see anything here. So now let me draw the diagram. This is center. You have a line that passes through the center. Remember, if any line should pass through the center, that line is diameter. Take notes. Any line that pass through the center and cuts the circle at both ends then is a diameter. And diameter usually divide the circle into two equal parts. So I'm only redrawing the diagram so that I can explain the solution. So this place is A. This place is 53. So this is L, M, and N. And in circle theorem, you can introduce new line. Even the line that is not in your diagram, you can introduce it just to make your work easier. Now, this is the diagram. So, we want to find angle A. But now, if you don't observe well, you can't see anything here, like I said. So, now, look at all the arcs we have here. Do you know this is an arc from here to here is an arc, that is? ML is an arc like this. But if you trace this arc to the center, you have this. You don't have anything again. So you can trace all the arcs. So, but look at this arc MN now. This MN. So, see that MN very well. So, you know, this is arc MN. Now, trace that MN to the circumference, eh, to the center first. You know, this is to the center. It's sustain angle A, AB. Now, trace that MN again. This same MN again. Trace it to the circumference. So, you will see that the same arc that sustain at the center is the same arc that goes to the circumference. Then, the rule is applicable here. So, that is... The angle which an arc sustain at the center is twice the angle which the same arc sustain at the circumference. So now look at the diagram again. Now you can now observe the rule now. So this the arc here sustain this angle at the center. The same arc goes to the circumference. So now that means a yeah is equals to two times. 53 because the angle here is twice the angle at the circumference so angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so that means a is 106 degree that's all so one thing about circle theorem is that you have to observe that law so now i'm not adding anything to the law i'm only doing the first law angle which an axis sustain at the center is twice the same the angle which the same arc sustain at the circumference. Well, by the time you solve like 50 questions here, yeah, you will understand better. So let's proceed. So now, if you write this, you should be writing the rules if it is theory. So angle at center. So if you just say angle at center, we already know that you are saying it's twice the angle at the circumference. But if it is jam objective, you may not need the rule, just understand the pattern. So now that is the first question. Angle which an arc like this arc MN sustain at the center is twice the angle with the same arc MN sustain at the circumference. If you trace it, you see it's the same arc. So now let's see the second question. So we have Let me 
we have the um, center so from the center there are two red eye so goes this way so I'm only drawing the diagram so now this place is 70 degree this is center o. anywhere you see O in circle germ you know that is the center this place is M this place is N so A C D B now we want to find M and N I can see one arc already so you will see now that this is an arc see this arc A C like this you will notice that the arc AC like this go to the center the same arc AC go to the circumference so then the rule will hold that means in this case M is equal to 2 times 17 so M is equal to 140 degree that's all so that means the angle here is 140 is two times the one here so angle at the center is twice the one at the circumference so we found m like that now if this place is 140 what is this outside so remember angle at a point is 360 degree so the reflex so we know here to be 140 so we can know the outside so the outside is 360 minus 140 so that is for reflex please take note so 360 minus 140 you should get 220 so that means this reflex is 220 so now if you look at this diagram very well it's something like this now center here is 220 so it is the major arc that make that 220 so it's the one you will trace to this place so is this major arc that have this angle but if it is like this is the minor arc this one that will have this and is the one that will go to the circumference but if the angle is outside here is for major then you trace this one like this so that means this 220 will be divided by two to get this one so like this because angle at center is twice the one at the circumference so this place now is one one zero divided by two that is 220 divided by two so that is how we get n so n is 220 divided by two so angle at center is twice angle at the circumference so we've known our m and n like that so let's still solve more the more we solve the better you understand